Part two. Okay. Um, in this room, just you know, walk out a little bit, and we want to take out the bats so they don't run into us and freeze us while we're doing important stuff. Um, I just you know target them and then use my bow. That's probably the easiest way. Hook shot seems to miss a lot. Um, then on the left, there will be a gold sculpture on the wall, as you can probably already see. Um, so you guys know what to do. This is like. The 70th or something like that. It's crazy how far we, or how many we've gotten already. Um, anyway, this is another room where we have to collect the silver coins to open the door. So we're going to use this block to climb up to the different pillars um, to collect the silver coins or rupees. Um, and this block is kind of different. I mean, you push it once and it slides until it hits something. So you have to use that to your advantage, I guess, or you have to actually know that. Uh, it makes more sense. Um, so when you push it once, it's just going to go until it hits something. And um, so we can push it, you know, that pushed it to the right so we can climb up on top of this block. And then now I push it off to get uh, two more silver rubies. Uh, one of them was behind us in blue fire, so we're going to push it straight from where it started and climb on top of this pillar to grab this silver ruby, and then that one in the ice, in the red ice up there, we can just, you know, push this block all the way to the uh, opening of that little cave and take out, you know, more blue fire. It'll melt the red ice. My hand just went through it. Shouldn't I... If my hand goes through it, shouldn't I just be able to go in and grab the ruby? Come on. Whatever. Um, now I'm going to do the same thing and push the block off again. Yeah, whenever you push the block off, it just reappears in the um, starting position. So. That's cool. Oh, if you fall off, um, I'm pretty sure you actually start at the entrance of... The ice cavern, so do not fall off of the edge in this part. Just my advice to you. And um, I'm just pushing it straight, then right, and then right again. You should probably be using um, compass directions, so this would be north. Now you can see by the compass, and then, you know, where I'm pushing it, so that I can line it up to. Um, didn't mean to climb that time. But just so I can push it against the door where we need to go. And now we can climb up to, like, the last room. Um, head up this path. There'll be two ice statues that'll shoot ice at you. And I actually was kind of mad. I thought I could go through this entire level without getting frozen. Apparently that's not true because this is the ice cavern, and that's just bound to happen. So, um... I finally got frozen. But don't worry, I got I got revenge. Just hack and slash from death and um now you know we're gonna take out the bottle to melt this red ice and break the pots. Mine had heart pieces or heart containers in them. Not really sure if that was random or not, but anyway, head through the door. There will be a wolf. Um, I just let him attack twice and miss, and then stab him in the back. One hit kill. Now we open the chest, it appears. And iron boots. Useful item. Or at least that's, like, how we're gonna get out, so... Um, Sheik will come teach you a uh, song to get to Lake Hylia, and now we're just going to exit through this water. By equipping the iron boots, we can now, you know, sink to the bottom. And it would give us a time limit if I stayed in there for a long time. We'd only be able to stay underwater for about two minutes or so. But I wasn't in there long enough, so the timer didn't appear. Um... Anyway, before we leave, I have to actually head back and grab more blue fire because um, I need some for uh, King Zora because he's covered in red ice and I forgot about him apparently. So, um, 
once we head back to the entrance, that's the entrance door, the one with icicles blocking it in that room. Um, so back at Sora's Fountain, we are going to swim, you know, back. I probably should have sped this part up because you guys know where you're going by now, I hope. I'm not, I guess I can't really say for sure that you should, but whatever. Um, we're almost there anyway. Let's see. Back in Sora's domain, um, just stand next to the king and, you know, open your blue fire bottle. And, uh, that'll melt it, and then he'll be happy. Except I thought you could talk to him from the side. Apparently he's too high and mighty for that, so you have to, you know, stand in front of him on this pedestal, I guess, before he'll even consider speaking to you even though you saved his life. Um, he'll give you Zora's tunic, and I just equipped that. So now we're blue. Uh, now, I don't think it's as cool as red, but definitely useful in the water temple, so I kind of need to do that. Anyway, um, we're going to head to uh, Lon Lon Ranch. Actually, we're going to pass by it and go sort of to the northeast section, or northwest, yeah, northwest section, to a tree that has yellow branches. Um, you'll be able to see it right away. But what you want to do is place um, a bomb down right by the base of the tree, and a hole will appear, like so. You can drop down that, and you know you probably don't have to kill that. I just like to, because I don't want to have to be bothered. But um, anyway, once you get into the water, you'll see a heart piece at the bottom. So now that we have the iron boots, we can get that. So just, you know, equip the iron boots, and you can sink down to the bottom. Now we're able to grab the heart piece. I think you can probably grab it if you had the gold scale. It doesn't seem that deep, but uh, we do not have that yet, so. But we will soon. Um, so that ends part two.